Hi everyone. I wanted to bring everyone out to the garden today because I get a lot of questions from people. Um, just because we feed our family um, straight out of our garden every year, we don't go to the grocery store much during the summertime. Um, but here's our herbs. We have a lot of different herbs. Basil, um, there's cilantro, oregano. Um, we've got two different big rosemaries. There's a big rosemary there. Um, and then we also have like our thyme and some of our other plants in here as well. And then we have a ton of fruit trees on the property. They're all babies still, so we're not getting a lot of fruit from them yet. But then we also have um, our berry walk and all the plants that you see down here are all different types of mint. Um, we make a lot of teas out of our mint, but we have grapes and all sorts of other plants like these right here we've got you know boys and berries coming up and they're still starting to bloom there's not a lot yet I mean our grapevines are doing fantastic this year so far uh, but I mean just walking out here the smell is amazing I just touched mint and I can smell it but then we've got our walk down here to the garden uh, Larry put steps in because we've got a big hill we go down and I want to show everyone because this sustains our family in the summertime uh, for all of our vegetables. So we've just got green beans in. They're not sprouted yet. I actually see a couple seeds that came up while we were watering. So I need to push those back in. But we've got 18 different tomatoes in. We've got four tomatillos here at the end. Now all of our beds are lined with um, chicken wire. So we've got that set up um, so that the, the gophers can't get in. But we've got our onions, there's peas. We actually have some seeds in for cabbage in here. We've got our broccoli coming up. Um, and these are all radishes. They're actually starting to bloom, so I'm gonna start pulling again. Um, and then we reseed as we're going through the summer. Same with our lettuce. And that's all turnips there. This is spinach and it's also starting to bloom. We actually harvested a bunch and I'll walk over here so you can see. And then we've got peas in here in the line. Sorry, my shadows in that video I did not mean that. Um, but we started harvesting our spinach. You can tell right there where we've cut and we're starting to eat. And then we reseed as we're going so that we have it all summer. And then we have a ton of onions. Many of those came back from last year. As the seed pods come up, we pop them and throw them back in. And then they just keep coming up every year. Now, this is our only bed that's not lined so far with chicken wire. Um, we didn't line it just because we hadn't in the past. And as you can see, I have a lovely gopher mound right there. Gotta love that. Mr. Gopher likes to come up and eat my onions. And now as I'm walking down a little further here, we have another bed here that's also lined. And this is all of our eggplants and our peppers. And then we put our garlic inside. I apologize for the wind noise. I know you're getting some feedback for wind. Unfortunately, it's Chino Valley wind. Um, but we put our garlic inside because it makes it a little bit easier for harvesting and then I can keep track and wheat easier. And then we've also got all of our different pepper plants are in the ground right now. And then we have one final bed that we'll be working on this weekend and that's gonna go for our pumpkins and our zucchini. I'm gonna make our way down here to our garden and we do have our composter down here. And in the garden we've got our greenhouse. It's not a terribly large greenhouse, it's um, eight by 12, but it's enough to sustain us. For what we need but I still have a lot of plants still that need to go into the garden that I haven't quite gotten to we've got all of our lavender that's a tea mix um all of our those are Swiss chard pots I've still got herbs that I picked up at the um Chino Gardeners Association they had a, a big sale we also have all the ones that we've planted in here as well and then we've got like our uh there's kale there and then we've got our red solo cups with baby tomatoes in it still that we're working on. Those will be coming out until pots up on the, the patio probably because I've run out of room there. But yeah, to give you an idea, we, you know, we eat exclusively out of our garden in the summertime. My parents also do a very large garden as does our neighbor. So when we get over abundance, we trade off vegetables. We end up having a ton of vegetables. We're still working on cases and cases of our, um, cucumbers that we pickled last year the kids eat them every day and we still have like 12 cases in the garage but to give you an idea i mean all of this will be totally green in about two months and i'll do another video so you can see how it's progressed but 
we do, like I said, a ton of vegetables. So, but this is how we sustain. And as we harvest, we just reseed throughout the summer. And then we end up with some beautiful, beautiful plants. So there you go.